Here tonight, baseball players go bald for the cure, and good evening to you, I'm Mark Allen. Today, the Wright State Raiders were buzzing, hoping to save some young lives. Alexa Ashwell live at Nishwood Stadium with our top story tonight. Alexa? Mark, Baseball for the Cure is an event teams across the country participate in. It was the first year for the Wright State baseball team, but um, they really got together. All 31 players shaved their heads in an effort to raise money for kids battling cancer. This isn't the Wright State Raiders' typical post-baseball game ritual. I've never had my hair shaved ever in my life. Was it a hard decision to make? Oh, no, not at all. Why after not? Seeing, after seeing those kids and the, what they've gone through, it's only a little hair and it feels nice. The team is shaving their heads to raise money for St. Baldrick's, an organization that funds research to find cures for childhood cancers and gives survivors like Nick Scheffler long and healthy lives. I gave out the first pitch. I threw the first pitch, which was really cool. Nick, now 12 years old, was diagnosed with brain cancer three years ago. He had surgery to remove the tumor and has been cancer-free ever since. Not many of us have been in that situation or known anybody has gone through that, uh, but knowing that you can help it um, in any way, uh, we were all for it. Senior Kyle Mossbogger raised the most money for the cause, approximately $700, earning the right to shave the coach's head. <laughs> There's far more important things than just playing college baseball, and, and uh, you know today we had uh, two children throw out the first pitch that that are battling cancer, and it, it was a very a moving and emotional thing, and and that's important for our guys to see. And actually, a number of people decided to get their head shaved after watching the baseball team do it. So in all, approximately 50 people participated in the event. The baseball team is estimating approximately $7,000 was raised. And of course, every penny of that will go to the St. Baldrick's Association. Reporting live, Alexa Ashwell, 2 News.